Hey everybody, we're doing a uh, day of, uh, of uh, I say protein sparing modified fast. Um, so this is a day of eating. Um, welcome if you're new. Um, I, I love that you're coming. Hopefully you stick around. Hopefully you like the content. Um, you know, hopefully uh, you'll, you'll make some comments. You'll be part of the community and uh, um, help drive to make us all a little bit better. Teach us all something. Um, as well as hopefully we can teach you as well. So we can support each other and make each other uh, more successful in our journeys. That's uh, super, 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 right? So uh, those that are returning, um, you're the guy, you're the reason that I do this, um, you know, that, that you come back every week, um, you know, video after video. So I really, really appreciate it. So today, again, we're gonna do, uh, so for the month of September, three days a week, I'm gonna do what, uh, love, uh, yeah, <laughs> loving it on keto. Um, uh, Wendy and Harry out of, uh, out of Phoenix, Arizona, as well as Janet, um, out of uh, she's out of Canada. Um, the two of them are doing it, so I'm going to take a stab at doing it as well. So I'm going to do this month, I'm going to do some uh, protein sparing modified fast. Um, I just wanted to try to um, speed up my weight loss a little bit. Uh, I'm, so I'm just going to do it for the month, um, see how it goes. I'm going to do it on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. We'll have to see how it goes because I'm taking this Friday off and uh, we're going somewhere. I'm not sure when I'll put this out, but uh, somewhere hopefully in the, in the next few days here. So, um, so I thought I'd just do a day of eating, show everybody what it's kind of like to uh, to have a sparing modified fast. I wasn't really prepared for it. I kind of thought it'd be a piece of cake. Um, whereas you got to stay under 10 total carbs. Right, 10 total carbs, and then you got to keep your uh, fats under 30 grams. So um, that's it. And then you go into, if you go to uh, Marie, um, uh, oh shoot, so, uh, <laughs> I'll think of it in a minute. So but, uh, I'll put a link down to her page. You go down to her page, and she actually has a calculator that you plug it in, and it will tell you what your macro should be while you're doing the protein sparing modifies. Um, so, um, so those are kind of the two the two big ones is the the fat and uh, in in the total carbs. So um, again, um, you know, cutting out the dairy as well for the day. Um, I thought oh, this would be easy, not a big deal. Uh, it started off okay, but it's actually hard, especially when you're you're so so used to uh, eating stuff that is higher in fat, so that you get your fat and its fats in. So to kind of do the other is is kind of kind of difficult at first. So you know when you eat a hard boiled egg, you can't eat the yolk. You can only eat the whites, right? So um, so you have two hard boiled eggs, but you're eating the, the you're just eating the whites and not the yolks. So so that's kind of it. So we'll go through that and we'll go through my day and how it went. It was it was uh, it was different. So um, we'll go through the macros as well as the end. We'll try to make the video kind of short just to kind of show I think it was a pretty boring day um, because you eat pretty light so it's not my normal keto day so I will be still enjoying my keto regular keto days um, on um, on Tuesday Thursdays Saturdays and Sundays so and actually <clears throat> Saturday I may take some liberties and, and use it as a because uh, they say you should have a refueling day so I'm going to use that kind of as a refueling day so I may do net carbs that one day i don't know we'll see so that i can get some additional fats and stuff in on that one day to make up for some of the, the not getting it on a week um, we'll see how it goes and then i'm going to track my weight and we'll review it every week just like we have been um i know that uh, uh harry and wendy did a really nice calendar they put out that's really really easy to follow <clears throat> has the rules and everything else on it um so if you go over to their page and i like i said i put a link to both janet's page and uh um, loving it on keto's page down below and you can go check out both of them Janet's got some fabulous fabulous recipes on uh, uh, protein sparing modified fast as well as sodas and Wendy so um, go down check both of them out hopefully you stick around hopefully you like the, the video um, I think you'll find it informational um, if, if anything else you'll find it a little bit interesting um, then we'll come back at the end of the day and we'll talk about the macros and how we turn it out Hey, good morning. Uh, first day of trying to do a protein sparing modified fast. So, um, it'll be a slim day of eating, but I thought I'd show you what I'm going to eat today. 
Um, I'm going to start off with modified version of my bulletproof coffee, which is not much of a collagen. Turmeric, so anti-inflammatory stuff. We'll do that. In. So it's going to be a real basic, uh, real basic coffee. All I'm doing is black coffee and putting in a little bit of collagen and uh, some turmeric. That's all there is to it. No, uh, no fats or anything I put into it today. So. Never done it before. Um, we'll see what, what I can do. So the whole thing is to uh, stay below 10, 10 carbs for the day. Um, tweet below, keep your fat below 30 grams for the day. And your calories, I think, are supposed to be below 100 or uh, 1,200 for the day. And this is. And then you're supposed to get your protein up based on your height and weight. You go to Marie Emirates page, she actually has on her page, she has a uh, calculator and it tells you what your macro should be. So how many grams of uh, um, protein and all that stuff. And I think mine's like around 150 or 160 or something. So we'll see if we can hit those numbers and see what it looks like. And... All right, coffee's ready. And as Harry would say, oh, it's coffee time. It's going to get used, it's going to take a little bit of getting used to drinking that like that. All right, we'll see you in the next segment on the lunch. All right, it's, all right, it's time to pack my lunch. So what I'm going to do is I'm making a uh, protein shake. So um, I'm going to use one scoop of the... Uh, Iso pure zero carb. It's zero net carbs. It's not zero carbs. So maybe we want some. I'm gonna use some almond milk, and then to go along with this, I'm also gonna bring two hard-boiled eggs. But I'm not gonna eat the yolks. I'm just gonna eat the eggs. The egg whites, because I want the protein and not the, uh, oh, sorry. I want the eggs, I want the protein, but I don't want the, uh, the fat, the, you know, all the fat and the, and the egg is in the yolk, so. Right. Do that. I'd like to pour a little bit of milk in here.
I'm going to take, um, and I'm going to have one of these meat sticks. Turn it up here. I'm going to have one of these meat sticks. I'm actually going to have half of one of these, so, um, and that's going to be my lunch. So. Let's see if I put that into my card manager, how does it come out? And I will tell you I'm <clears throat> doing this. Um, so that's a zero carb lunch. Well, kind of. It's, so the eggs uh, will be zero. The, the protein powder is three. If you're measuring net carbs, I guess it's zero. But for me, it's three. Um, the almond milk is two carbs in it and the beef stick is zero carbs in it so um, that's where we're at so all right we'll go through at the end of the day anyway so real quick but uh, really simple lunches so um get to see what i'm doing for my uh <clears throat> first day of protein sparing modifying fast and see how it does and um see if it affects my weight when i uh my way this week all right, I'll see you later when we're starting to get dinner together. Hey, everybody, it's after work. I'm preparing for my dinner now. I'm going to show you what I have. I'm going to, I'm going to cook, uh, these are green beans. I'm going to cook some green beans. And then I'm going to have about six ounces of uh, chicken breast that I'm going to have. So and that's going to be my dinner, and that's going to be it, really, um, for the day. Uh, I don't plan on having anything else. But uh, we'll come back here and we'll summarize how the day went and how the macros went for the first uh, uh, protein sparing modified fast day. So, um, and then uh, we'll see how we made up. All right. So hopefully it's uh, all good. All right. So here's the day you saw what I ate. Um, and we'll just, I'm just going to go in and go through it really quick like here on my, uh, on my carb manager. Um, just so you can recap some of it um, we'll talk a little bit about the, the total how it came out so I ate a uh, I ate a K cup coffee this morning um, that was zero carbs right so just one and then I had I put some collagen in it so again that was zero carbs as well and then I put some turmeric in it I didn't realize that turmeric ground that ground turmeric has one total carb in it so um, interesting so I didn't think it did but uh, the, according to my tracker it does then I had two egg large, two large egg whites for lunch. Um, I had that Dutch uh, low carb um, protein shake, um, so that's three total carbs. So now I know if you get it, it will say zero carbs, but it takes because it has um, a sugar substitute in it. So you minus the the three sugar substitutes, so it's zero net carbs. But it's not it's total carbs; it's it's only three. But it's only three, right? So it's not a big deal. And I had um, 16 ounces of almond milk, so that was two total carbs, unsweetened almond milk, I should say. Um, and then I had uh, I had one of those Green Ridge Farms beef sticks, and, and that was one of the things that I kind of learned because I thought, oh man, this is I bought these things. They're uh, you know they're zero carbs. They're going to be really really good, but they're actually really high in fat. So. Um, which becomes an issue where you start to plug it in, you gotta start looking at uh, the fat content in it. So, like this has eight grams of fat in it. So, you know, so that's uh, quite a bit of fat. So, um, when you're trying to keep it under 30 grams, it's not nothing crazy. But then you saw that I had the chicken breast and then I had the green beans with it. So, uh, <clears throat> so that's kind of what I ate for the day. Um, nothing sensational. Um, so I did manage, I stayed right at 10. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's probably trying to focus on me. So, yeah, I guess that would be better. But anyway, so, um, so I, I stayed right at 10 total carbs. Um, I did go to 22 fat, so that was good. So I stayed under the 30 fat. And uh, my protein was 131. So actually my protein, according to the calculator, if you go into uh, uh, into the um, mind-body 
health or something like that. I'll, I'll put, like I said, I'll put the link down below. Um, um, and uh, you go to the website and it has a calculator on there. And it, I think uh, mine was like 190 or something from a protein for what I want to do for my, my height, weight, and age, and everything else. So, <clears throat> again, um, the protein sparing modified fast is supposed to be a low carb, low calorie, um, you know, fasting. So it's not totally fasting. It's just it's supposed to be low carb for the day, and you're not supposed to do it all the time. And they're saying to do a minimum two to three times a week only and don't do it consecutively so you break it up so that's why I'm going to do it on Monday Wednesdays and Fridays um, like I said I'll have to see how it goes with this weekend because it's a holiday weekend <clears throat> but uh, and then it's supposed to be high protein because it's supposed to maintain um, your muscle build and your structure and so that the, the low uh, carbs doesn't um, so it doesn't affect your muscle build your muscle tissues and stuff like that so um, that's the concept behind it. So, and I guess it's worked very well um, for many, many people. There's a lot of people doing it right now. So, it's kind of a thing all over the internet and all over uh, YouTube right now. So, <clears throat> but I thought it'd be interesting to see a, a regular day of eating in it. So, again, I'm new to it. So, I'm trying to figure it out. Um, it wasn't as easy as I thought it was. I thought I was just going to be able to, to walk through this thing with like no problem. And then to look at it, there were several things that I was going to eat. And then I looked at, oh, geez, look at the fat content in that. Oh, yeah, I can't eat that, you know. Um, <clears throat> instead of eating the lean, the, the fatty meats, you got to eat the lean meats. So it's going to take some little doing to, to do that. So, But the first day was, uh, I would say, successful. Um, we'll track the weight and see if it made any difference or not. So I've been doing pretty well on the way I was doing it. So I'm continuing to do that on the other days, on uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, with the exception of Saturday, I may go over it a little bit. Um, maybe I'll up the total carbs or something that one day just to, to do that. Um, we'll have to figure that out as we go. Uh, and again, I'm just going to do it for the next four weeks. And then when the four weeks is over with, um, I'll go back to the way I was. <clears throat> Hopefully I'm at goal. I'm pretty close. So um, another nine pounds or so, I guess, right? So um, I thought you'd find it interesting. I just kind of wanted to share it with you. Hopefully you liked it. Um, I don't think it was anything that great or that interesting. If you have questions, let me know down below. Um, I do have an email address down there as well. Um, we're also doing Derek's Step Challenge this month. So I'm um, walking quite a bit. So today I'm about almost 14,000 steps so for the day today and day one of the Step Challenge. So I think I'm doing okay. I'm not nothing fantastic, but uh, hopefully it's, it's, you know, it's good enough to keep me in the running or keep my team in the running because we're broken into teams. So... Um, if you're interested, maybe you can get into Derek's, Derek's journey, his website, and I'll put a link for that down below. If you want to participate, maybe it's not too late. So, um, you know, so good, good thing to get you up and get you moving, um, and have a little fun with some other people and meet a bunch of other people. Um, and that's how you help grow your channel as well by meeting other people and, and exchanging ideas and, and stuff. So, Hey, remember you guys are awesome. Have a great day. Um, you know, smile, be happy, be kind to each other, be good to each other, and I'll talk to you soon.